A differential pressure transmitter is a common device used in process industries. It can be used to measure fluid flow. It operates based on the principle of Bernoulli's equation, which relates the pressure drop across a restriction in a pipe to the flow rate of the fluid. The basic setup includes a primary element, typically an orifice plate, venturi tube or flow nozzle, installed in the pipeline where the flow measurement is required. Here's a detailed explanation on how a differential pressure transmitter measures flow. The primary element is installed in the pipeline, causing a restriction in the flow. As the fluid flows through the restriction, its velocity increases, resulting in a pressure drop across the primary element. A DP transmitter typically employs two pressure sensors, one for each pressure port. These sensors are commonly referred to as the high side and the low side pressure sensors. The high side pressure sensor is connected to the port on the high pressure side of the primary element, upstream. It consists of a diaphragm or membrane exposed to the fluid pressure. As the fluid pressure changes, it causes the diaphragm to deform. Many modern pressure sensors use strain gauges attached to the diaphragm. When the diaphragm deforms due to pressure, the strain gauges undergo mechanical deformation, changing their electrical resistance. The change in resistance is proportional to the applied pressure. Some sensors use capacitive or piezoelectric principles to convert pressure-induced deformations into an electrical signal. The electrical signals from the high side and the low side pressure sensors are then processed by the transmitter's electronics. The transmitter calculates the differential pressure based on the difference between the signals from the two sensors. The differential pressure is then converted into an output signal, often a 4 to 20 milliamp current signal or other standardised signal. The DP transmitter is calibrated to ensure its output signal accurately represents the differential pressure and by extension the flow rate. Calibration involves adjusting the transmitter's settings to match known reference values. In flow measurement applications with primary elements like orifice plates, the DP to flow rate relationship is non-linear. To linearize this relationship, a square root extraction may be applied to the output signal. Some DP transmitters include temperature and pressure sensors to compensate for variations in fluid properties, ensuring accuracy over a range of operating conditions. The output signal is transmitted to a control system, data logger, or other device for further processing and monitoring. In summary, a DP transmitter measures differential pressure by comparing the pressures at two points in a fluid carrying system, typically upstream and downstream of a flow restricting element. The transmitter then converts this differential pressure into an electric signal, often with optional square root extraction and compensation features for accurate flow measurement. If you would like to know more about how differential pressure devices calculate flow, please click the link in the description below. This will take you to a 26 page download which will explain in detail the process of which differential pressure devices go through in order to output an accurate flow calculation. If you enjoyed this video, please stick around for more weekly content and hit the like and subscribe. See you again next time.